All right, guys, since the dawn of man, man has always known what is a woman and what is a man. It is not complicated whatsoever. But in the woke year of 2022, there is confusion among the wokes on what is a woman. If you ask the general person, what is a woman? What is a man? They're going to say adult human female or adult human male. It's just that simple. It's not complicated. But the Wolsters out there want to change everything. They do. I am a man. I can never be a woman. Now, when it comes to the whole trans thing, no matter what, if I one day I say, you know what? I'm actually a woman. Guess what? I will never, ever biologically be a woman. It is just that simple. That's just something wired wrong in my head. If I actually go down that route. And I never will. Now, folks, when it comes to your dictionaries and your schools, they're supposed to educate you with facts. But it seems now that uh, Cambridge Dictionary is now going down the woke path and they have changed the definition of what a man and a woman is. Here we go. Cambridge Dictionary redefines what man and woman means. No reason whatsoever to actually change this. We know what it is. But you know what, folks? This is to go after your little children that are vulnerable. Because the little children don't know the difference. Now, somebody my age, you know, we know what a man is. We know what a woman is. But this is all to indoctrinate the future of the world. It says here, in yet another example of the insanity of modern progressive activism, the Cambridge Dictionary has redefined man and woman. Under previous definitions, which were reflective of reality, it said that woman meant an adult female human being. Now woman is any adult who lives and identifies as female, though they may have been said to have a different sex at birth. In other words, if you weren't a female at birth, you're really a man. Wow. It made the same anti-biology change for man, saying it's an adult who lives and identifies as a male, though they may have had a different sex at birth. It's not surprising that a dictionary would cave to transgender activism, but it still manages to be disappointing. And this is, as you can see right here, the Cambridge Dictionary here on the Internet. Woman. It says an adult female human being. She's a really nice woman. A woman and two men are arrested the same day after the explosion. Uh, Women first got the got the vote in Britain in 1918. Give me you some sentences. But look at this. It does say here, an adult who lives and identifies as female. Though they may have been said to have a different sex at birth. This is the propaganda that they are pushing on children. This is woke propaganda. This is what the progressives actually want to push. Folks at this path. In the next uh, 20 years, there's going to be mass confusion on little kids today who become adults. And if you actually say, hey, that person is not a biological woman, for example, let's say that this person is actually a trans man, for example. The kids are going to say, no, that's a man. That man is a man. That man was always a man even though this was a female at birth. It's about indoctrinating children, folks. Need to wake up. How is it that we have let all of these wokes and progressives take over our institutions? Where did we actually go wrong? How did this wokeness all start? How can we actually put it into all of this? Folks, I never thought 
I'll be living in a world where the whole trans thing is being mainstream and being pushed on you like something we've never seen before. Joe Biden has been actively out there saying to transition your kids. I did a video yesterday. He actually invited this non-binary trans activist to the signing of the disrespect for marriage act. So high level politicians, they're enabling all of this. We're going to destroy ourselves, folks. We are going to destroy ourselves if we do not wake up. And I mean, wake up and not be woke. Because this is what wokeness gives you right here. Confusion. Wokeness is to change the mindset of your children. This is what they actually want to do. And they're changing all of this. This is crazy. Guys, go and watch uh, Matt, Walsh, Matt Walsh's um, documentary on Daily Wire. What is a woman? It's fantastic. Because the people that are saying that um, trans women are women, they can't even give you a definition of what a woman is. They're just saying, hey, trans women are women. But they can't provide a definition. They have no data to back up what they're pushing out there because they're pushing propaganda. Propaganda. That's it. The people in Africa actually do know what a man is and what a woman is, because in that documentary, he goes to Africa and these tribal people, they kept it simple. They said, no, a man cannot be a woman and a woman cannot be a man. But the wokes over here in the U.S., they don't want to hear that. They're going to want to call you some type of a bigot, a transphobe, because this is what it all is. The, the T's in the LGBT's, that is the most protected class out there in the world. And there seems to be no stopping it. There's no pushback. Because the most powerful people in government and in business, they're all woke progressives. And they're going to destroy this world. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time.